Alright, so let's start this off by saying if you find this content useful, you like my customization, my ricing of DWM or anything else, or any of the scripts that I've written and I've uh, produced here and demonstrated, uh, please give a like and a sub. The giant, fat, fluffy hamster will really, really appreciate it. Alright, so let's just start this one off. So right now I've themed, uh, themed my desktop here. And it's got this like nice coloring here. And I didn't actually create uh, this palette here. I use this program called PyWall. It's very interesting because it um, scans a wallpaper and it creates a theme based on that. And you can actually then take some of this output and connect it to the Suckless software. So right now, my D menu, my ST, and of course my DWM here all have this color scheme connected and it's really easy to do it's not that difficult so let's first install PyWall so the way that I did it is through the official repos I'm assuming you can build it from uh, source and stuff but this this works so let's just go through the uh, repos uh, so PyWall type your super secret password and uh, you can see it's really tiny it doesn't take that much space, but let's just exit out because we don't need it right now. So, uh, once you've done that and installed it, I'll go through the steps of how to add it for each different uh, piece of my desktop here, which is basically the menu, ST, and DWM. Now, uh, let's go into our sources directory. So we have to edit the configuration file and it's not complicated at all. So what we have to do is delete uh, all of our color schemes here. Well, not color schemes, but the colors array. So I have many of them because I've bounced around through a bunch of different wallpapers and I've changed colors a lot, but most likely you'll only have one array here so just delete or comment this out and once you've done that you just add this hashtag include and you say your home directory your username then this hidden folder called cache then wall because wall is the program that we're going to use to uh, get our color scheme and then we read the file that's called colors-wall-dwm.h and this is the actual file here that will read in the colors right now the thing about this it might not work for you because you need to have a patch called urgent in order for the default file to work for you but I don't really like patching that much I don't really think it's necessary. I think having, you know, active and inactive tabs is enough for me. So, um, once you've done that, let's just let's just run it here. So, um, I'd say first do a wall i uh, that uh, dash i. This will tell it to read uh, a specific file, right? A specific wallpaper, more specifically, right? Uh, so I have it in pictures slash uh, anime slash fate uh, which one should we do I guess we can do a blue okay now you see it changed uh, ST already but this is not uh, really complete yet it kind of did it but I'll, I'll show you in a second that it's not really complete but anyway so now that we've uh, completed uh, reading our wallpaper in and generating this theme we want to then have DWM pick this up right so that goes again to the configuration file uh, just make sure that you have commented out your previous color scheme wh whichever one that you may have I'm assuming again you have only one so just comment that out and then have this hashtag include home directory username dot cache wall and then the file name for this one is colors-wall-dwm.h. Now, we'll see because I don't have mine uh, um, 
excuse me, patched, uh, it will give us this error here. Scheme urgent, it's saying like it's not found, right? Because I don't have that urgent patch. But it's really easy to fix this. It's not hard at all. Uh, and we see that um, the theme reverted itself also because uh, doing that dash uh, I command here in this terminal here, it is not built into the ST theme yet. So when the binary for ST reloads right now, it's going to reload the previous theme. We have to change that, and we will in a second. But let's do a CD into cache. Oh, no, not CD. It's just nano dot cache wall uh, colors dash. What is it? Wall dash. Okay, now this is this is where our problem lies here because we're not patched. So again, if you're patched, you probably won't see this error that we're getting over here. But uh, let's just fix this. So what do we do? Comment the urgent out. Comment this out. And this. And that. And we're good. So we can just say save. And uh, let's close this window. Install. Whoops. Typos. Cool. Sweet. So we're done. Now let's reload uh, DWM. You'll see the error is gone, and we can now restart it. There we go. So that's step number one, right? To theming our desktop, right? Let's look at the menu. Same issue here. Now let's just. Whoops. Close that out. Uh, see the, the menu into our configuration so again just comment out the theming here uh, the colors the schemes and here we just have hashtag include uh, and then we go to the same directory as before except this one goes to colors dash wall dash d menu dot h so then we close out save the sudo make clean install Okay, now it'll give you some errors about that. I haven't noticed that it uh, causes anything to break, but anyway, we'll see that we have now also changed this theme. It's pretty sweet, right? So now let's back out again and let's go into ST. So we will open our configuration file here. And for this, it's a little bit more, well, not complicated, but. Uh, just a little bit more that you have to uncomment uh, sorry comment out uh, so the first that you have to get rid of is the colors right so the color name array so this whole thing needs to be gone and then in its place we add hashtag include then we say slash home slash John dot cat well not John whatever your username may be then dot cache slash wall slash colors dash uh, wall dash st dot h then we comment out these definitions here because uh, if you leave them here you'll get a conflict within this file here this colors uh, file from the wall so just make sure to comment these out I'm not sure if in previous versions of st these are present but at least in mine which is like uh, I think zero dash uh, 0 0.8.4 or something like that I don't know uh, in my version it's present so just make sure that that's all commented out these four lines and uh, the colors are right so after that close out save and then do another make clean install okay close it out open it again and now we're good so yeah uh, at a new instance it reloads the correct theme it looks nice everything matches with the wallpaper uh, and we're almost 100 percent done so then the last thing that you need to do is not so much for the actual theme but just to reload the quote-unquote like color scheme right and so you need to go into your zenit rc whoops uh, dot zenit rc and here 
we need to add this command here to reload the previous uh, color scheme the last one that it that it knows was active so that um, you know when you turn on your desktop and everything you're good to go right so just add this line and you're set so I really like wall but for me personally I'd rather uh, go through and you know I guess it's really slow and maybe boring but I pick one pixel and then I pick a second pixel and then I put those pixels into a, a complementary color machine and I got a previous video on that and you guys can follow along with it but then I generate a whole color palette based on that it takes a little bit of time probably because some colors you know will look kinda crappy when paired with each other or they may not you know complement each other as well but it's I think it'll really allow you to get the best but this if you want a quick and dirty easy way to just theme your desktop this is how you do it using wall so uh, oh the last thing before I forget uh, each time that you run this wall command it kind of annoys me because uh, this file here let me just show you guys uh, colors dash, wall dash D, D. Yeah. so this file here each time you reset a uh, wall so when you change the wallpaper it will regenerate this file and it's kind of annoying because each time since I'm not patched on DWM I have to come back in here and comment this out so that my pseudo make clean install doesn't uh, fail on me so just keep that in mind whenever you uh, change your wallpaper if you uh, don't have it patched to that urgent thing that urgent patch which I guess adds another uh, type of scheme selection sort of thing for the uh, for the workspaces uh, you will get an error if this is not commented out so just these three lines and this last one over here the scheme urgent right so that's pretty much it it's really straightforward I really like it because it's a quick and dirty way to theme your desktop if you're just you know always changing wallpapers I guess on the go um, but that's it for this one if you again found this useful the giant red fluffy hamster would really appreciate a like and a sub because the hamster army needs to grow